What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome and today I'm going to show you guys a couple of the little upgrades that I promised uh, when building this do-it-yourself laser engraver. So let's take a closer look. First up one of the big things that I had an issue with on this engraver was that it didn't sit high enough. Now there's not really a whole lot that you need to engrave that's real tall, but it really helps to be able to slide stuff under this way. Um, it's kind of like a pass-through laser engraver, so I made some little standoffs, and those standoffs gave it about an inch and a half up, and that really helped out. Now, I did it kind of in an expensive way. I used some of the aluminum extrusion, really not probably the best way because it, it, it is quite expensive. I just had it sitting around so I can pull it apart anytime that I need to. Uh, somebody else may want to design some legs for that that work a little bit different. Second up, this was one of the biggest issues I had with this, especially when you're trying to film for it. Wire management. As you can see, I've got a real mess right here, but at least it's all right here. It's attached using these little 3D printed clips that attach to uh, T-nuts down in there and then you just run a zip tie through it. Works really well. I even used it to attach my ramps case. Really pleased with how that turned out. The last upgrade that I did for this really uh, was something that I should have put in to begin with. There's a small spacer that was missing here and it allowed the uh, cable carrier for the laser to bind. Um, that was really kind of an oversight on my end but I've corrected it and uh, that file will be posted up on Thingiverse. Now one of the big things that I did with this laser was I actually engraved a grid on the spoil board uh, that was basically made possible because it has legs now. This spoil board is real easy to change out. Um, I've got MDF just laying around. In fact there's a sheet behind me right now. Um, so in in engraving that grid, it makes it a lot easier to set up your work pieces. All you have to do is set it to a specific coordinate in Inkscape and you can start engraving. Now, as you can see, I've actually got a small right angle that I actually cut on the laser and uh, I use that to quickly, it's almost like a jig, I very quickly just drop a block in and slide it to that spot and then it engraves in the exact same spot every time. Uh, I really like having that there and I highly suggest if you guys open up an Etsy store like I have uh, and I'll go ahead and link that down below in the description uh, then if you need to mass produce something this is definitely the best way to do it. Now if there's anything that I'm missing on this make sure that you guys leave me a comment down below uh, just ask me I don't care uh, to answer any questions that you guys have now again I'm, I'm still pretty busy I've got a little bit of a reprieve right now so I'm actually working on another project, but I don't have a ton of time to uh, design other things for this, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you guys like content like this, make sure that you subscribe. I've got a really big project that uh, I'm about to announce that I'm working on. Uh, I'm really hoping to help a lot of people uh, create stuff like this with my next project. So. Make sure you subscribe if you're interested in that, and I'll see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome.